my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me What's up, freaks? It is time for Steve Says episode number 126, 126 here on Steve Says. And today we're going to talk about freak time travel. So stay tuned. This, literally this shit that we're going to go over today will completely change your whole perception, change your whole fucking future, change your whole motherfucking life. This is freak focus. It's, it's freak future focus. It's a freak version of time travel. You need to stay tuned to hear this and implement this to completely change the way you are operating, change the way you're looking at life, change the way you are approaching life, and a whole different freak perspective on the way you're doing shit. So this is Steve Says, episode number 126. We are talking about the secrets to living your ideal freak freedom lifestyle. This is like time travel, saving you decades of time and bullshit and distraction and struggle. It's like a freak motherfucking time machine and you need to stay tuned and pay attention to this. So here on Steve Says, this is not always what you might want to fucking hear, but it's definitely what you fucking need to hear. And some people will hate and they could just get a big old fucking middle finger, but most can relate. And we are just trying to catch on the comments. I got four different cameras going here at the same time. Just trying to keep up with some comments here. If you have any comments to add to the discussion, put them up there. Let's freaking talk about it. But we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Steve says there's a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles, preventing your success in your health, your family, your fitness, your finances, so you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freak fucking terms. To start marching to the beat of your own drum. We're focusing on the mind, the body, your business, on how to have a role model mindset. How to operate, to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, being an action taker, a bold move maker, and your freak fucking self. That's what this is all about. This is peak freak perspective on personal development, positive mindset, health and fitness, all that good stuff. Again, not what you might not might not want to hear, but what you need to fucking hear. And we are talking today about freak future focus, focusing on the future, but actually time travel, reverse engineering the shit that's going to happen in the future so you can take care of that shit today and completely alter your fucking state of, of, of consciousness about where you are today, where you're going. Just pay a fucking attention Because I'm telling you, if you focus on this stuff and you pay a fucking attention and come in here with an open fucking mind, this shit will completely change your fucking life. It'll completely change your fucking whole consciousness, the whole way you're fucking thinking about life and the the trajectory you're going in your life. Because I'll tell you what, when it comes to goal setting, when it comes to fucking goal setting, it is about direction, not fucking destination. It's about trajectory, even over velocity. Start wrapping your head around that shit. It's about the direction you're going in over the destination. The, the goal, whatever you think is the fucking goal. Your, I'm talking about your major life long goals that you think are your life goals. And it's a lot of times going to be attached to fucking money. Let's say you want to make 10 million fucking dollars, whatever, whatever fucking reason. First off is, all right, that's your goal. That's not even a goal. That's just a fucking number. That's probably something that's going to support the lifestyle. The real goal should be the fucking lifestyle you want to live. Then when you break down, all right, this is the lifestyle I want to live. You got to think, all right, why do I want to live that lifestyle? Then when you think about why do I want to live that lifestyle, think about, all right, what is the purpose of why I want to live that? How is that my purpose? And then the even higher overarching level is what's the motherfucking meaning of life? What's the meaning of my fucking existence? That's overarching and then reverse engineering that. And it kind of fits into today. We kind of went off the topic there a little bit, but actually does kind of fit into today when you start thinking about the direction over the destination. The fucking trajectory over the velocity. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about the the freak future focus and the freak time travel. So first off, how how do you time travel to make already uh, in 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 the morning or today? How can I make tomorrow already fucking awesome? So we're talking about time travel on a short a short distance. And we're also going to talk about time travel like 50 years from now. 
Yeah, we're getting all fucking kooky here. We're talking about time travel for, for tomorrow. So how can I time travel into tomorrow and make tomorrow fucking awesome? Well, lots of ways I could do it. But how, the first thing to do is, all right, think. If you're not scoring yourself and having a score, giving yourself a scorecard every fucking day, you're wrong. You should be scoring yourself. You should know where you're at each day, reflecting and reviewing on the previous day you just finished. And start previewing and planning a plan of attack and a strategy for the upcoming day. So for me, tomorrow's already fucking done. It's already completed. It's already a success. Tomorrow's already motherfucking awesome. Because I've done the work today. I've done the work today. I've reflected on today. I plan, I, I preview, I re- reviewed today and I've previewed tomorrow and motherfucking plan for tomorrow. I know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow. I've already envisioned it. I've already fucking meditated on it. I've already gone to a deep state of, of, of planning and preparing for tomorrow. Tomorrow's already a fucking done deal. It's already fucking awesome. It can't be ruined. It can't be ruined. So imagine that on a short term for the time trial we're talking about. It, it comes down to your reflection and review, your preview and plan, your strategy and structure, your war plan, getting ready for the fucking war that is tomorrow, for the battles coming up tomorrow. They're already fucking won. They're already won. We're going to go deeper into how to actually implement that, how to actually live according to that type of mind frame. But that's the first kind of vision I want you to think of on a smaller scale, on a daily scale, like even tomorrow morning, even though it's already a done deal, tomorrow is already awesome. Today, I already know fucking tomorrow is awesome. It's already been predetermined. It's already pre-fucking planned. I've already made sure that tomorrow is going to be fucking awesome. There's nothing that can happen tomorrow that's going to make it fucking unawesome because I've already done it. I've already planned it. I've already put the pieces into place for tomorrow. Listen, the, like even money, the money you're going to make tomorrow, you didn't make tomorrow. You made it today or you made it yesterday or you made it a week ago. That's even time travel. Your money is even traveling in a freak fucking time, time warp. So don't think, like I already know tomorrow's fucking awesome. I know exactly the meetings I have. I know the coaching clients I got to talk to. I know the, the, the places I'm going to go. I've already visualized it. I already know how I need to show up to each of those individual things. I've already fucking, it's a predetermined fucking thing. That's at a small scale. That's on a small scale. So then, and then still even tomorrow morning, when I get up into my morning routine, I'll think, how can I make today fucking awesome? The day is about to happen, so now I'm going to time travel in that small little gap. How can I make today awesome? What do I need to do just to make the today awesome? Not tomorrow awesome. I already did that. I already did think about tomorrow today. But t- tomorrow in the morning, I'll just sit there, and I did that this morning. How can I make fucking today awesome? And if I, I score myself in five categories, really more than five, but five main categories of life every single fucking night. So I think in the morning, all right, how can I make fucking today awesome? How can I get a five out of five in all five areas, a score of 25, when I score myself tonight? What do I need to do to operate, to dominate, to, be, to operate with a role model mindset? What do I need to do to get a five out of five in my discipline, in my energy, in my confidence, in my actions, and in my freak, meaning my, meaning my freak self, living to my highest fucking purpose, living according to my higher calling, putting myself out there, not giving a fuck. How, what do I need to do today to make today fucking awesome. What do I need to do today to give myself a five out of five, a 25 out of 25 when I score myself later on today? That's just the start. That's, we're talking about a small scale of time travel. We're going to build this up to fucking decades worth of time travel that I'm going to save you fucking years and decades of bullshit and drama and struggle and stress and wasted time and energy and fucking money in this fucking, in this fucking show right now. That's why it's a freak future focus. It's a freak time travel. But it starts with Today, reviewing and reflecting the day I just finished, planning and previewing tomorrow. Then tomorrow morning, it goes with, all right, how can I make today awesome? And then the way to wrap your head around, how can I make today awesome? It goes into, I call them the the four fucks. The four fucks. This is how I I make every fucking day awesome. This is how I actually time travel. One of the ways I time travel. And yeah, you think I'm fucking high on drugs. Believe it or not, I've, I've never done a drug in my life. I've never even fucking smoked weed, not even one time. Imagine if I was all fucking coked up right now. What that would be like? I don't even know what the fuck. Have this whole fucking house and town probably be burnt the fuck down. But it's the four fucks. So in the morning, I'm I'm, I'm going into a deep state of of consciousness of almost. It's not subconscious. It's subconscious going to sleep. It's a an awakened state of almost subconsciousness going on to those deeper fucking levels. The four fucks. Fuck me. Fuck them. Fuck yesterday and fuck tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking every fucking day. That's what I'm thinking every day. That is why it's time travel. All right, let's break those down. Fuck me. 
Fuck me. I get told fuck you all the time, so might as well just join the fucking party. Fuck me. And that means today, how can I make today fucking awesome? All right, first of all, fuck me. Fuck me. Yeah, that'd make a fucking good day, wouldn't it? But fuck me, meaning it's not about you, motherfucker. It's not about you, motherfucker. It's not about me, motherfucker. It's about who you're going to help, what you're going to do. Who, what, what is your real purpose? What is your real higher calling? It's not about you, motherfucker. So fuck me. It's not about me. It's about something more than you, about more than yourself. It's not even about other helping other people. It's about something bigger than that. Fucking higher motherfucking level we're talking about on a whole different scale. So fuck me is the first thing, the first fuck. The second fuck is fuck them. Fuck them. Them meaning those motherfuckers that don't matter, that get all caught up in your fucking mental and emotional space, wasting your time, crossing your fucking boundaries, fucking haters on the internet, haters that'll probably be this video. You know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, they will add fuel to the freak motherfucking fire and that fuel to the fire will create that freak freedom. That is all pieces of the puzzle, but still fuck them. Fuck those motherfuckers who don't matter. And you're worried about what they say, what they're going to think and do, and what, what, what's gonna ha- what they're going to do that day. Fuck them. Fuck some stupid comments on the motherfucking internet. Think I give a fuck? Do you think some comments on the internet can make me stop being me, being my freak self? Stop being a role model to my children? Stop taking care of my kids and hanging out with my kids more than anyone I know? You think those fucking dumbass comments on the internet are going to make me stop having dinner with my kids five days a week and my family or seven days a week? Fuck no. Do you think it's going to make me stop training hard, training, exercise, lifting, strength, cardio, conditioning, boxing seven days a week? Zero fucking days off because there's some fucking hater on the internet? Fuck no. They're not going to affect my discipline. They're not going to affect my fucking energy. They're not going to affect my confidence. They're not going to affect the actions I take. And they're not going to certainly gonna, not going to affect me being my freak motherfucking self. If anything, they're going to put fuel on the fire and fucking make it explode. That's what they're going to do. So thank you, motherfuckers. Thank you, motherfuckers. That's the four fucks. Or that's the first two. We're getting all fucking fired up here. You're getting me worked up. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. But the third fuck. Fuck yesterday. Meaning, all right, how do I make today awesome? All right, fuck me. Fuck them. Fuck yesterday. I can't be caught up in yesterday. Yes, I'm going to quickly review, reflect, learn the lessons. What can I do better? How can I improve? And I'm going to move the fuck on. And yes, I don't even mean just literally yesterday. I'm talking about yesterday, but also last week, last month, last year, your fucking childhood. Boo fucking who? Poor little you. Mommy and daddy didn't fucking love you enough. They didn't give you enough attention. Motherfucker, time to move the fuck on. Stop claiming that bullshit. Time to move the fuck on. Fuck yesterday. In every sense of the word. Literally, fuck yesterday. But yesterday as in symbolic of every day that's not fucking today. Every day already occurred that's not today. You've already learned the lessons. They've already been drilled into your fucking subconscious, the lessons you're learning. You've already given yourself credit, and you should have. If you didn't, you're fucking dumb. Give yourself credit for the victories. You've already learned the lessons from the losses, the failures, and the fuck-ups. So fuck yesterday. Fuck yesterday. And then fuck tomorrow, meaning I'm not going to be stressed and have anxiety for what might happen. What might happen tomorrow? What might happen in a meeting I have two fucking weeks from now? So I'm going to ruin two motherfucking weeks Kill my fucking energy and emotion for two motherfucking weeks for a meeting that I have that's probably not even going to be as bad as as you fucking think it is. And that is a form of time travel. When you can go so deep into the fucking day, so deep, what's up in Atlanta? I was just there a couple months ago. Awesome freaking city. Awesome people there in Atlanta. I'm just trying to catch up to the comments as they're going. So that is a form of time travel when you can erase and say fuck yesterday fuck tomorrow so you're not you're not stressing off and going off on this fucking wild ride and thinking about what if this what if that what's going to happen it doesn't matter i don't care what's going to happen tomorrow you know what's going to happen tomorrow if you're stressing about tomorrow whatever the fuck you're stressing about because you're not going to do the shit you need to do today you're not going to have the focus and intention and attention you should be spending today and doing the shit that actually fucking matters the shit that you want to do the important shit the high priority shit because you're too busy Focusing on yesterday, or tomorrow, or me, or them. So fuck me, fuck them, fuck yesterday, fuck tomorrow. That is another personal, small version of freak, future, fucking focus, and time travel. That is ultimate focus on today. That's how I get locked in on the motherfucking day. Because I know if I do the shit I need to be doing today, I could do whatever the fuck I want to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's already done. That's why I know tomorrow's already going to be awesome. Because I already did today what I need to fucking do. 
and I have a series of non-negotiables that wasn't to be unbroken for anyone. I already know tomorrow's gonna be an awesome fucking workout. I already know I'm gonna deliver some impactful fucking transformative coaching sessions to clients. I already know the project workout that I'm gonna do tomorrow for the project candidates who have classes coming up is gonna be fucking powerful and it's gonna kick their ass and it's gonna kick my fucking ass. And I'm gonna do it with my, with my family so we're gonna connect at the same time while we're fucking suffering and having a fucking fun in the blazing 100 degree California sun. Tomorrow's fucking awesome. But if I, if I sat today and stressed about if what tomorrow's gonna be like, is tomorrow gonna be awesome, tomorrow would fucking suck because I wouldn't be putting the pieces into place today. Tomorrow I'm gonna make some motherfucking money. Now I'm not gonna make tomorrow, I'm not gonna make money, I'm, I'm gonna make money tomorrow, but I'm not gonna make any money tomorrow. Let's wrap your fucking head around that. Like I said earlier, the money I'm gonna make tomorrow I am going to make money tomorrow, but I'm not making that money tomorrow. I haven't had money fucking today or yesterday or a week ago or a month ago, maybe a year ago from putting peace into place, building relationships, re- doing reaching out to people, setting up uh, businesses, setting up, I- having ideas, creating shit. That money was fucking made a long time ago. I may collect the money tomorrow, but that shit wasn't made tomorrow. So I already know tomorrow's going to be an awesome fucking day. I have an awesome time with my family. Awesome fucking training session. I'm going to be fucking suffering. It's going to be hard as fuck. Fucking awesome. I'm going to have some great coaching sessions. Some awesome fucking meetings. Going to see a site, a future project, a future site for possibly the project, the Squire and LCD programs. It's going to be an awesome fucking day. I already know. I'm already done. That is time travel. When I'm not stressing about tomorrow, it's fucking time travel, motherfucker. It's already done. It's a done deal. Done fucking deal. Again, and, and, and then back to thinking about, all right, the time travel, the, the, uh, thinking about that, all right, the destination, the goals, the big goals you have. And yes, you should have motherfucking goals. And yes, you should visit them every day. And now listen, I said visit them, meaning I'm going to check in. I'm going to lock them in, all right? Keep them locked into my fucking mind. I know what that is. Done. You're done. I'm throwing you out into the parking lot because I'm going to focus on today. Now, even I might even add a fifth fuck and it might be fuck your goals. Think about that. Wrap your fucking head around that. Now that's fucking time travel. Fuck your goals. You know what? Together, freaks, we just added a fifth dimension to that. Fuck your goals. So it's fuck me, fuck them, fuck yesterday, fuck tomorrow, and fuck your goals. Yes, you want to, and, and, and this, just fucking settle down for a second. Yes, you need to create goals. Yes, I write down my fucking personal, my professional, my health and fitness, whatever my big life goals are, the, the freak freedom lifestyle that I want to have. Those are my goals the higher calling I have, the fucking meaning of life. Those are my goals in alignment with that, congruent with that. Yes, I write them down every fucking morning and visualize them and meditate them for a few minutes and every fucking night visualize and meditate them every fucking day and night, seven days a week. But then, fuck those goals. I'm throwing them aside. I'm going to focus on what do I need to do today to make fucking today awesome, not to reach those goals. Most likely what I need to do today to make today awesome is going to be in alignment is going to be in the trajectory of those goals, but I'm not even concerned with that fucking destination. As long as my direction is down, it's fucking time travel. The destination is already a foregone conclusion. The destination doesn't even matter. So let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Say you made a few million bucks. 10 million bucks. $10 million in the bank. $10 million in the bank, you've been busting your ass, all the fucking year, all life, you're 85 years old, you're on your deathbed, or maybe not even on your deathbed, you're just old as fuck. Just old as fuck. You got 10 million in the bank. Fuck it. Let's say 100 million in the bank. Let's go fucking big. You got 100 million in the, in the bank. Let me ask you, would you, would you, if you could, like, would you give up that wealth and that money for more time? For more time, for more experiences with your family, with your kids, to go back in time and work a little less. I'll tell you what, motherfucker, no one on their deathbed ever said, I wish I worked more. I wish I spent less time with my kids. I wish I did this and that. And I'll tell you what, would you, your old self, give up your riches, give up your success, give up your money, give up all your wealth to go back in time to today, knowing what you know now? And your answer, almost everyone, if not, you're probably just fucking douchebag. Your answer is going to be yes. I'd give up that fucking, you're on your deathbed 
and you know probably what you did to get there, to get that money, to get that wealth, to get that riches, probably made you neglect so many relationships and people and probably uh, uh, friends and family and fucking kids, that most people would say they'd go back and give up that wealth and that riches to go back. And I've asked this to literally thousands of people, and I'll tell you what, 99% of the people say, fuck yeah, I'd give it up. Knowing what I know now, things, I, things I've neglected already in my life, mistakes I've made with my kids and my family. And we're talking about really, most part, if, if for those that have kids, thinking about that. And 99% of the people, and I've, I've literally done this thousands, thousands of people, and it's 99% of the time, it's yes, fuck yeah, I'd give it up. So here's the thing. So today, you're going bu- to work all day, you're going to do 16-hour days, you're going to do all this stuff, you're going to go in these meetings and all this other sales and all this whatever bullshit. This is where the real deeper level of fucking time travel comes in. If you would fucking give up that $100 million 50 years from now, you would give up the $100 million I'm trying to keep up with all these E-Banks, what's up, freak show? What's up, brother? From the Cayman Islands. Fucking awesome dude there. Honor graduate from the project. Watching on, over on Facebook. So if 50 years from now, you'd give up $100 million to have more time with your kids and to work less, you'd give it up to be able to go back for a day or a week or a fucking minute. Like literally, I've even asked to that point, like just for one day, Would you give up all that wealth and riches? And they always fucking say yes. Always. So wrap your fucking head around this. Wrap your head around this. What's up, Julian? Medic from the project. Graduate class 005 and our full-time medic fucking freak show athlete right there. Super endurance athlete. Like the fucking white David Goggins. So, and a firefighter paramedic just fucking savage. Runs... Uh, firefighter preparedness program for firefighters looking to get into fire academies check it out julian serrano and prepared firefighters awesome stuff so if you would 50 years from now would give up your riches your wealth to go back and do more of what you wished you would have done whatever that is for me i'm I'm gonna use the example of spending more time with your kids because to make that $100 million, you had to miss this and that, miss a birthday party, whatever, not be there when they're not take the kids to school, whatever it is, whatever the fuck it is, whatever you wish you did more of, whatever you wish you did, whatever you didn't do enough of on your fucking deathbed, if you'd give up that $100 million 50 years from now, think about it. To get that $100 million today, you're doing whatever you're doing today. You're doing whatever you said you'd give up that money to undo. So if you just wrap your fucking head around that, it's a fucking twisted little scenario, but if you wrap your head around that and realize, all right, if I'd give it up then, why am I fucking sacrificing and losing those moments now for that money that I would get in having 50 years that I would give up for this moment that I'm fucking losing? Yeah, I told you it's fucking sick and twisted. It makes fucking sense in my head. Twist that around and let it fucking soak in. So then why are you operating the way you're fucking operating? Thinking and going after that next deal and answering the phone at 10 o'clock at night and just hustling. You need to make more and more money. You need that private jet. You need all this other stuff and you need that fucking millions and millions of dollars. Now, don't get me wrong. You need fucking money. You need shitloads of it. But if you would give it back to have more of the moments today, why don't you just have more of the moments already? There's the fucking time travel. There's the fucking breakthrough. There's the boom the punch to the fucking face, the universal bitch slap waking you up, saying, then why the fuck don't you just forego maybe some of those riches and money? Not, of course, not all you need to fucking make a shitload of money. I'm all for money. But think about that. Why wouldn't you just forego some of that to do what you would have given up the money 50 years from now after you wasted 50 fucking years and then you can't, you don't have that fucking time machine to come back and undo it, but you say you would do it. Fucking do it now. That literally just will buy you 50 years of fulfillment, of fucking happiness, of connections, of fucking living, of fucking the meaning of life, of fucking freedom, freak motherfucking freedom. Think about that. That's 50 fucking years of time travel. That's decades in your fucking hands when you start thinking that way and operating that way. And I'm not saying go live on the fucking streets and and make stupid decisions and be fucking broke and poor and whatever else. No, make shit loads of money. But 
being selective about it, being selective about it, about the decisions you make, the t- what you're spending your time on, how much time you're spending on it. If you had to give up, if, if, you, didn't make, if, if you didn't make that $100 million and maybe only made a couple million dollars, a couple hundred thousand dollars, if that was enough to, to, to live in the freak freedom lifestyle that you have as your goals, fucking reverse engineer that shit and fucking die and stop wasting your whole fucking life chasing that shit, chasing that shit to get what you would give back anyway if you had the opportunity. You'd give it back for more moments now that you fucking wasted for to do more of the things that you wish you did. So why don't you fucking do them now? This is why I just bought an RV that day. Like a, a, three months after buying a fucking a, a million and a half dollar home, go and buy a $200,000 RV because I said, you know what? Is it the best? Is it the smartest time to do it right after? Probably not, but all right, I want to start living the lifestyle I want to live and creating the experiences I want to create for my kids, for my family, no one that I never had created for me. I want to do that now, but I, I could probably buy a much nicer one when I'm, I'm 60 years old, 62, fucking retiring, and fuck that. I don't want to retire. I don't want to finally be able to live my life and have somewhat freedom when I'm retired and fucking old as fuck. Do that shit now. There's another time travel fucking tip. Another freak future fucking focus tip. Start living the life fucking now. When I retire, fucking shit. I don't, there, there is no retiring, first of all. There's no fucking retiring. Retiring is death. You're retiring from life when you fucking die. I don't even believe in fucking dying anyway. Whatever. I'm not going to die. But anyway, there's, there, why would I want the, to... The, whatever, the retiring. That time when you're not working. I'll always be fucking working. Because if you're fucking doing the shit that you want to do and do it, living life according to your life that you want to live, you create a life you don't need a fucking vacation from, start living it fucking now. You don't need to wait to go buy the RV, go on the trips, spend time with your fucking family, wait till you're old and fucking can't even barely move around. Do that shit fucking now while you have the chance before it's too late, motherfucker. There's some time travel motherfucking tips for you. Think about that. Again, I have to keep re- repeating this part because it, 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 I've t- explained it to some people and it took a while for them to reverse engineer it and fucking figure eight, twist it around their fucking brains. But if you would give away your riches 50 years from now to do more of the shit you wish you did more of, if you can go back 50 years and give up all those riches and you would do it, just don't blow all your fucking time and energy and emotion on that destination of that money when the direction's all the fucking matters. Today's all that matters, motherfucker. Right this fucking minute is all that matters. The direction is over the fucking destination. That is time travel. That is fucking controlling the clock. That's controlling your life. That's controlling your fucking freedom. That's, and then think about it. There's the shit that you want. The shit that you want. What we, what you have right now gets ignored for whatever you want. And then when you get what you want, what you think you want, that what you wanted now becomes what you have. So it starts getting ignored. Think about how fucking stupid that is. And that's the way it goes. That's that 50 year example. Man, you could reverse engineer that shit and save fucking 50 years of this wasted, dumbass, fucking stupid, never ending, vicious cycle. Wrap your head around that one. Whatever you have right now, you're fucking ignoring. You're ignoring the shit you have right now. Because you're going after, you're hungry, you're a fucking motivator. You're going to get what you want. But once you get what you want, that now becomes the thing you have. And if you ignore the thing you fucking have, you're now going to have a new want that you're fucking chasing after. And once you get that, it becomes your new have. And now you want a new want and you're ignoring the fucking have. Next thing you know, you're 85 years old with $100 million in the fucking bank and saying, I would give all this fucking riches back to have one more day with my fucking kids that I didn't spend enough time with or one more day doing Fucking fishing on a lake. Whatever the fuck it was for you. It's a never-ending vicious cycle. You you can create a never-ending force multiplier of new nows. Think about that. Of new nows. Never wanting and never ignoring. Just right now. Constantly. Constantly fucking creating a new now. Instead of, oh, I want this. I want that. And ignoring what you have now. Fucking dive deep into what you have now. And then you'll create a new now and a new now. And you'll always be in the motherfucking now. It's, and, and it is gratitude. I see gratitude pop up on the screen. Always be in the fucking present. Yes. 
It's freak gratitude. It's freak gratitude. It's fucking time travel gratitude. Think about it. Like a whole different fucking level. This is how you become unfazable. This is how you become impenetrable. Impregnable, as Mike Tyson said one time. His defense was impregnable. And he was going to eat Lennox Lewis's children. But whatever. You become bulletproof. You become bullshit proof. You become hater proof and fucking internet loser motherfucker proof. You become fail proof. You become unfuckwithable. That's what you do. You control the clock because you're controlling the future. It's already, it's a done deal. You've already snatched the fucking future and started it right now. That's fucking time travel because I'm going to do now what I wish I would have done 50 years from now that I would have given all the riches back. I'm going to do it today. And guess what? That's going to probably lead me to a better tomorrow. Most likely, maybe, maybe not. But worry, I'm worried about right now. And the other way, all right, how, how do you deal with it? All right, what if shit doesn't go your way? What if you're, you're not planning enough? And like I said, we are planning, we are preparing. There's a fucking little caveat, a tweak to all of it. You are setting goals, but you're not fucking only thinking about that. You're focused on the direction. You're focused on the fucking today. You're focused on turning adversities into advantages, on, on obstacles into opportunities. And, if, and the thing is, like, you could ask yourself, right, how could I turn this obstacle into an opportunity? If you're doing all the things that I'm already talking about doing, and you have these daily non-negotiables and daily fucking disciplines that are unfucking breakable that your character is so motherfucking unbreakable. Guess what? That obstacle, that's why tomorrow I know is going to be awesome. That obstacle that comes tomorrow, I've already converted it before it ever fucking happened. I've already converted that obstacle into an opportunity before it happened. I don't even know what it is. It's already fucking converted. If I'm already only able to have my own desired perspective on what fucking life is and where I'm at, if I've already reversed that evil thing out in the future that hasn't even fucking happened yet that's lurking in the shadows. I've already defeated that motherfucker before it has a chance to rip its fucking claws into me. And with that confidence, with that energy, with that fucking approach and that violent fucking perspective, that evil lurking in the shadows probably will never fucking happen. I probably just prevented it today. I've already already beaten it tomorrow in the future. I'm in fucking control. Of course, you can say, hope, hope for the best, but prepare, prepare for the worst. Now, prepare for the worst already fucking happened. I don't have to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to deal with it with the same shit I'm dealing with today. We're dealing with right now. That's why I know tomorrow is going to be fucking awesome. That's why I'm traveling time. That's why I know 50 years from now will be motherfucking awesome. I'm not going to say, I wish I would have done this. I wish that. I wish this and that. I would give it all back because I'm doing it now, motherfucker. I'm doing it now. Wow, someone came on to say, shut up. Okay, we're on a Facebook Live video that has audio and has a microphone and some dumbass saying, shut up. I'll be sure to do that. I'll be sure to do that, pal. So the other way to deal with tomorrow and whatever obstacles, whatever roadblocks come tomorrow is asking yourself, am I willing to accept the worst case scenario with a motherfucking smile? With a motherfucking smile. And when you can answer yes to that, you're already prepared for it. You've already defeated it. That's motherfucking time travel. So again, it's how can I make today awesome? That's the, simp- that's the start every day. How can I make today awesome? How can I give myself a, a 25 out of 25 when I score myself tonight? What am I going to have to do in my discipline, in my energy, in my confidence, in my action, and being my freak motherfucking self? And then it's the four fucks. I know we said the five fucks. Fuck me, it's not about me. Fuck them. Like the loser on Instagram that's saying shut up. Fuck them, fuck the haters. But they're sitting there watching at home, spending their time to comment. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's good time travel. Let's reverse time travel. Back to fucking stupidity and waste of time. But it's also fuel to the motherfucking freak fire. That's what it is. So the four fucks is fuck me, it's not about me, it's about something higher, something above yourself. Fuck them, the haters, the internet fucking losers. Fuck them all. Fuck the people who don't matter. Case in point, right there. Then, fuck yesterday. Fuck what would happen, the mistakes, the failures, the fuck up. I already learned from that. I've already turned that obstacle into opportunity. Fuck tomorrow. I've already turned that roadblock. I've already turned that situation, that struggle. I've already turned that adversity into an advantage before it even fucking happens. I'm not going to stress about what happens tomorrow because I'm going to focus on today. And by focusing on today, I've already overcome what's going to fucking happen tomorrow. I've already made tomorrow's money today, motherfucker. Focus on those four fucks. Ask yourself what can make today awesome. And then ask yourself, 
on your deathbed. Millions of dollars in the bank. Would you give up the millions of dollars for, to do more of something that you didn't do enough of today? And the answer is yes, start doing it today and you've just fucking given yourself 50 years of motherfucking freedom. It's freak freedom. It's freak future focused time travel. Like sing, li- listen to this again, do it, play it in slow motion, play it whatever you have to do so you can hear it. Play it in half speeds because I'm fucking talking fast. I got a lot to say, not a lot of time to say it. But take this stuff serious. Like let your head wrap around this. Go meditate on this. Visualize this stuff. Freaking journal on this stuff. And you will be surprised what you come up with. You will come up with some fucking mind bending shit. When you go deep into this thought, this level of fucking consciousness about the future, about yourself, about right fucking now. So if you have any questions, comments, any useful questions, comments, put them down below. Send me a private message. If you need any information about any coaching or the project or everything that's going on in the freak world, send me a private message. We can hop on the phone and talk about it, how we can help you save those 50 years of fucking struggle that are unnecessary, of wasted fucking decades that are ahead of you if you don't start getting your shit together. So get your shit together. Don't be a little bitch. Fucking dive all into the right motherfucking now. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.